So many people have asked for fall scenes, so here's a perfect one to practice trees. We're gonna do a fall path. I'm taking my mop brush first and doing back and forth strokes with some light blue and white, and even blending in a little bit of teal to make it look like more of a fade. Then without washing my brush, I dipped right into tan and a little bit of white and went back and forth all the way to the bottom. That's your path. Now you have to trust the process with this one. I'm taking my artist sponge and taking some red paint and doing a couple clumps of leaves in different areas in the sky. I'm spacing them out a little bit. So once I have a couple red ones, I'm going to take some orange and do clumps in different places. You kind of have to organize them a little bit because usually the same colors don't grow all at once all over the place. There's some clumps. So little clumps of yellow, little clumps of orange. And when trees change color, usually they're there's still some green ones on there too, so I'm gonna do just a little hint of green in there. And then make sure you dry it really good. Now taking a size six round brush, we're going to add the trees. Now do you see this perspective? You're gonna have a little bit of a triangle. So at the bottom of the triangle, I'm going to have my first tree, and that is going to have the thickest trunk. See, I did a dark brown line of paint going all the way up to the sky, straight through the leaves. Then the next one in towards uh, the center a little bit, I'm doing it up. See, it's going up on that triangle, but it's a little thinner. And as they get towards that center point, they're moving up a little bit towards the center and getting a little bit thinner, but they are going all the way through the top. So same thing on the other side, thicker all the way at the bottom, and then it gets a little bit closer to that center point, getting thinner as we go. There we go. And then always pulling up on my trunk, I'm pulling out towards the right or the left to add a couple branches. See how they're in a V shape? Um, branches don't usually go straight out from the trunk, but they're reaching up towards the sky. So think about that. And it's okay if they're touching each other because all these trees are pretty close together. Before it dries, I'm gonna take a little bit of tan and add some highlights on the trunks and on the branches. Don't cover all the brown completely, but it's definitely helpful to have some highlights to make them look a little bit more three-dimensional. That makes them stand out. And to make the trees look like they're inside the leaves and not just plastered on top of them, I'm gonna take some of the leaf colors and bounce in just a couple sections over top of the rough edges, especially a couple bits of yellow. I like to do that in the end for highlights. You know what color leaf I have never seen before? A blue leaf. The blue is in the sky in this one, but you have every single color otherwise. I've even seen some purple leaves. Now at the bottoms of the trees, you can take a little bit of brown paint and I'm bouncing in some edging there just to hide those. You also see the perspective a little bit more. I'm also gonna take some nutmeg or light brown and bounce that in on the edges as well. This represents the dead leaves that fall off the tree. Those turn brown, but that's okay, because this is really cool. I'm gonna take a large round brush. This is actually a crease brush, which is another type of makeup brush, but it works really well. I'm just gonna, gonna do some back and forth strokes with some tan, but because the brown paint is still wet, you get some really cool shading in there. See that? So don't worry if you got anything in your path because you can fix it up just like this. And that's a super easy fall scene for you. Have fun with it, make it your own. I'd love to see how it turns out.